What's going on everybody? MVP Collectibles back here again today with a very strange and long uh, statue chat. Today we will be going over a lot of shit that's come out recently. Um, I do apologize that I haven't had any, um, I haven't been around, I haven't done a statue chat in quite some time. Um, as most of you probably know, there's the, the coronavirus is going on right now. And so I'm actually basically in quarant I'm basically in quarantine. I'm not sick or anything, but uh, I have a health condition, so it's easier for me to get it. So I'm probably gonna be doing a couple more videos now and again. But uh, enough of that. Let's get on to these photos. This uh, this statue chat, as I already mentioned, will be quite long. Um, so let's get started. Um, I will be going over everything. That has come out recently. However, I like to save things, uh, especially the bigger things towards the end. Yes, I know the bunch of Prime 1 things just came out. Hang with me. Those will be coming. This, of course, however, is going to be the Holy Quinn uh, hot toy from the movie Holy Quinn. And this thing is, in my mind, it's it's okay. Um, it's not very, it's not amazing, it's not terrible, it's just okay. So, I mean, there you go. Um, hold on, well, I'm, I, I, I gotta get my notes out here. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so this will actually, ha this actually has two different types, or di two different versions. This is the first one. I only have two photos for you of each, I do apologize. This, of course, is going to be just the standard regular. Uh, this one will, will run you $259. It will arrive a, uh, April through June 2021. Here's a look at the head sculpt. Um, now, for, for the, the head sculpt here, it looks off, right? Then the head sculpt here, you're like, wow, that's stunning. But you, but it just looks kind of funky. It, it I don't think they captured H Holy Quinn that well. Now this is going to be the different version, and I actually like this one less. Uh, why you ask? Uh, because of the smile. I think the smile, her, her portrait of this one, it just doesn't look very good. Um, but this this type, this version, uh, one six scale collectible figure, will be uh, two eighty one, and it will be available uh, July through October twenty twenty one. I don't know why such a drastic change, but it's the same. It's the same thing. The only difference is the. Is they have a different portrait as well as it comes with this little thing that little thing that goes across her abdomen. Uh, caution tape jacket version is what they call it. Here's a look at that portrait, and again, I just think it looks odd. Um, it just looks off. Um, I don't know really what to, how to place it. It's kind of like the other one where it just doesn't seem to fit as well with any of the other ones. Um, now. I'm sorry, some of these photos in here are going to be looked very, are going to be smaller. I don't know why, some stupid thing with the formatting or whatever. But here's going to be a look. Sorry, I mean, I can barely see it. Uh, I do apologize. This is going to be a look at the overall uh, hot toy. Now, these are going to be photos of in hand of Batgirl. Uh, she was just released uh, several weeks ago, ago now. Um, Again, this statue chat, originally I had set up to do like February 14th. So this is when that first came out. Here's a look at the art box. Uh, here's a look at the bottom of the base. And you guys might be asking yourself, this looks right up my kind of alley. Yes, it is. I do get uh, female premium formats uh, from DC. However, I, I bought the uh, OG one actually uh, before this. And I like that one more, and I think that one fits more into my what I'm trying to do with my female line. Uh, but, I mean, she is pretty cool. Um, I definitely like this portrait more than this one. I'm not a fan of that portrait. Um, but I just have several photos here. Um, overall, she's... she's she, Overall, she's small. I mean, look at her compared to Catwoman. And Catwoman's in my collection isn't very big. Catwoman's only like what 22 23 inches so she is she is small like a very small body type it's just kind of strange 
but overall she's a nice piece this is going to be the hot toy batman prestige edition now this i'm going to talk a lot about throughout this video because this somewhat makes me kind of upset um i'll get into that more in a little bit later but i overall do like this uh hot toy and this will be a different version of the other one the regular one that came out the non-prestige edition but of course this will be the one sixth batman uh prestige edition collectible figure by hot toys of course from the video game batman arkham knight uh moving on oh sorry i forgot to give you his details Batman Prestige Edition is going to be $251, arrive October 2020 through January 2021. Uh, now we get into some more of the good shit. This will be Thanos, the battle-damaged version of Thanos. Um, and um, I have gotten every other Thanos hot toy there is. I would be su very surprised if I actually do get him couple reasons um but mostly i just don't really need him but he's close because he does come with certain things that the others don't uh this head sculpt for one i think is incredible he comes with the actual gauntlet from the battle so those two things um i just i have a little bit more photos of him than the other hot toys um overall he just looks so cool and that head sculpt he comes with these two head sculpts here the angry one and then this kind of shocked, sad one. The, I'm sorry, that head sculpt, the way they, the way his eyes look, and I, yes, I do have another photo where you guys can see it. It is stunning what they did with the head sculpt. I mean, just look at that. Stunning. I mean, and I have another one, too. It's just so good. Um, this one will run you $428, so it's a little bit less than the other one. At least I think it is. Uh, arrival January through March 2021. Just simply crazy. And now this is going to be the portrait I was talking about. Look at the look at the eyes. You know, I mean, look at the way that the eyes just show emotion. It's just Hot Toys is so fucking good. It's not. It's literally not even fair. This, of course, is going to be everything he comes with. Uh, my apologies. I have a little bit of a sore throat, and this is going to be a fairly long statue chat. So I'm going to be drinking things. So if you guys hear me drinking things or randomly stop talking, I'll try not to stop talking in the middle of a sentence. I'll try to finish like I just did. Um, but this is everything he comes with. Uh, another thing to note is that this, uh, his sword here, is actually going to be broken, just like it was in the... Uh, in the shish kebab in the movie you know what i mean okay now we are getting into very recent reveals so one thing about waiting this long is this this is i believe i don't know for a fact i'm pretty sure that this is going to be the wonder woman 1984 hot toy um i don't know that but i do know that i i, I i'm guessing that is going to be the case because this is very bright. And I would say that that's the the the, the uh, comic concept version. Besides, she doesn't have that skirt in the comic. Co comic cos... Whatever, whatever I just said. Comic concept version. Jesus, that's a mouthful. Um, overall, this is the only picture I have. This was taken from an, an event Sideshow did in, I believe, Tokyo this past... Uh, weekend uh it's also not my photo so thank you uh now this has my attention i'm not gonna get this one i will be getting this one this is of course the other wonder woman hot toy from wonder woman 1984 that's pretty dope that's pretty cool So, only photo I... No, I actually have two photos of this. Uh, pretty dope. Okay. Now we're going to start... Remember when I said I had more to talk about um, that Batman Prestige Edition? And this is why. Fuck you, Hot Toys. 
I hate you. Let me explain. I was done buying Hot Toys. I wasn't just done. I have one more Hot Toy on order, and that's the uh, and that's the th that's the Thanos Battle version, Battle Armor version from from Endgame. That's it. And he is completely paid off besides the shipping. So I was done. I was out. And then what does Hot Toys decide to do? You know what? We're going to do more of this Orkham line. Now let me concentrate for a second on why I'm mad about that Batman. I'm mad about that Batman because I want, I now want the line. Right? And if I want the line, I'm going to want the OG Batman. I don't like the Prestige Edition Batman. I don't like him. I want the OG. The OG is no longer available. You have to buy him secondhand. And when you go look at secondhand, he's around 500 bucks. So, I'm telling myself, there's two ways to do this. There's only two. One, forget about it. Don't bring it up. It's fine. It's there. You don't have to worry about it. I've done that with a lot of different DC things throughout the years. The second thing to do is go all in. Buy the the couple these hot toys that are now coming out. Circle back and get the ones that are already out that I can no longer get, which would be the two. It would be the Batman, the regular version from uh, Batman Arkham Knight, and the Arkham Knight himself, which is e he's even more expensive. He's like six hundred bucks, right? Buy those two, buy her, and then, see, now, this is what I'm afraid with Hot Toys, right? This is what I'm afraid of. They are never going to finish this line. Ever. And I'm really scared about that. Because if I start buying these ones, 250 bucks, 250 bucks, 250 bucks, right? And all of a sudden, they decide, oh, well, we're not going to make Robin. We're not going to make Nightwing. We're not going to make um, Penguin. So, but if I wait and see down the road that they, if they do come out with them and then buy them, I'm going to miss out on these. And then those will be 500. So now you guys starting to see my my dilemma here, because this is the Holy Quinn from Batman Arkham. I think that's Batman. It says it's Arkham Knight, but I I don't really know where. I guess I'll take him from from their world. She is so good, so good. Like, it just makes me mad. Like, when I saw her, I actually am like, fuck, 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 fuck you, Hot Toys. You're dragging me back in. I was done. And now you're dragging me back in. I mean, yes, of course, I'm going to get the Wonder Woman 1984 Hot Toy. Duh. But still, like, I can't be into a whole nother line, especially one that hasn't an end. They could do all of them, and I'd be in the whole foot. $2,500. You know what I mean? Also, I don't have the space, but whatever. Just, and this one is clearly an early development because they don't have any of her other gadgets. And of course, you know, she'll come with more shit. So early development here. But guys, oh, makes me so mad. Okay, I'm sorry. It will come up again, and I'm sorry, but it will. Um, Moving on, though. The one-tenth Batman from uh, Iron Studios. Uh, this guy will run you uh, 180 bucks, and he will be 12 inches tall. He will be arriving January through March 2021, and the detail they can get out of these guys, these one-tenth scale guys, is crazy. Ugh. So good. 12.2 inches tall, 31 centimeters, weighs, wait, what the fuck? It weighs one pound? Jesus. 
I wonder why it's only 180 bucks. Okay, pretty cool, right? Pretty damn dope. And this is the deluxe. I think it comes with a swap out or some shit. I'm sorry, I, I didn't really pay attention to that too much. When I was getting the photos out. Uh, this is going to be the in-hand photos of Captain America. So, uh, as we all know, guys, this is going to be the Captain America from, uh, Jesus, from Endgame. Uh, this, th these pictures are not mine, clearly. Um, but he does have a nice hot toy collection back there. Nice DC collection, Marvel collection, you know. Uh, yeah, this guy is really cool. Oh, I can see exactly where he's going to go. <laughs> Just really dope. Oh, you know what? I'm. Th this is actually Jeff Morris's photos. Anyone that doesn't, I can tell that by this. And I remember grabbing them. So Jeff, shout out to you. He is on the Batman, uh, Batman statue collector chat of, of, or, you know, the chat they do every Wednesday quite often. So shout out to that. I can definitely tell by this. And when he turns his chair, he's, that's the setup. So, uh, this likeness I think is creepy. That is very good. Not hot toy quality, but still very good likeness there. This version of course will be the deluxe. The deluxe comes with, the. uh, uh swap out shield and stuff and stuff like that uh this of course as you guys could saw it comes with a broken shield along with an sh entire shield uh that's going to be the last photo um again i believe do believe this is still available go pick pick him up if you are interested now we will finish the conversation i had about this line To know how close you you guys to know how close I am to buying this line, she is currently in my court. She is available right now. She just came out, um, and she is going to be let's see, bad girl. She's going to be a hundred two hundred and forty three dollars, so right around the uh, mark. And she's oops, sorry, and she will be arriving January through whoa, no sorry January through October, twenty twenty one. So you know. About a year and a half, a little bit, about a year and a half away. Um, makes me mad. I now since she's now available, I have the I have more photos of her. Um, makes me mad. Cause guys, let me tell you what. A setup of Batman, Batgirl. Robin, Nightwing, and across from them is Holy Quinn, Joker, Penguin, Two Face. Oh my God! Oh my God! Hot Toys. I just saw this. Hot Toys. If you don't do a Two Face, if you do a Two Face, I'm done. I'm done. It's over. A Two Face with veil portraits. Oh, shut up, man. I have a feeling that this line of Hot Toys might actually make me sell statues. Which anybody watching this who's watched me for any period of time, who knows anything about me, knows I think Hot Toys are fancy bobbies. And no, I will not tell you where I live because you'll probably come and kill me. I think statues are much, you know, much better and blah, 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 blah. I could go into that, but that's a whole nother topic. This, guys, I actually realized I had less than I thought I did. Sorry about that. We'll leave it here. Oh, my God. So fucking good. I don't know where I'm going to put them. I don't care. Now, with all that out of the way, and by the way, guys, I guess we didn't really talk about her much, that bad girl is incredible. That's the one I saw, and that's the one I'm like, you motherfuckers. So, incredible. Okay, next up, 
This one came out of a little ways, oh, a little while ago. So I'm sorry that I didn't put this until now. This behemoth, and I'm gonna say behemoth because I'm about to tell you guys this guy's size. He's 43 inches tall. I, a lot of that is this base. This base is atrocious and atrociously big, but still. 43 fucking inches. No, thanks. Okay. Uh, he comes in two different versions. The exclusive and the regular or the non-exclusive, whatever you want to call it. Collector's edition. I guess that's what uh, Sidesill calls them. Um... The exclusive is going to run you $1,399. The regular is going to just be $100 cheaper. $1,299. Uh, he will be arriving April 2021 through J J July 2021. Um, now, again, guys, all of these... Uh, um, Jesus. All of these uh, release dates... Or pending on the coronavirus. Remember, keep so keep so keep that in mind. Because the things that were supposed to come out now are not coming out now. And so they will come out when they come out. And then that will probably push a lot of these back. Things that start coming out now, they probably have that brought into mind. That's why I have a feeling that those hot toys, which are pretty damn new, they came. I I I saw them this weekend. Those things might have that taken into account. I don't know. All I can tell you is take that into a grain of salt. Or you, you know what I mean. Oh God, this guy. Oh God, do I want Lord of the Rings collectibles? No, I'm not buying Lord of the Rings collectibles. It's not gonna happen. Don't get me started. I was close to buying the Witcher statues. I'm not going to. I'm going to wait on the Witcher because I was very close to actually going in all on the Witcher one fourth prime one line. Not doing it. Not doing it. I will buy the fifty dollar dark horse statues. But I'm waiting to see what Sideshow comes out with because Sideshow now have, magically has that license too. It seems like everyone under the under the wet sun has that license. But so as soon as Sideshow comes out with whatever their shit's gonna be, one fourth, one fifth, one sixth, one eighth, one tenth, whatever it is, half scale. I'm not buying one half scale Witcher statues, but whatever, whatever it is, then I'll start to buy Witcher shit because I need Witcher shit. It's not a must. It's in my opinion. Probably the greatest video game ever made, The Witcher 3. Um, and yes, I've beat it five times. I have roughly like 20 days. So 20 times 24, whatever that comes out to in that game. It's crazy. Um, but back to this guy, guys. Crazy. And this, and this, and this thing, he's a great central piece but he needs to have more with him you know like like this line whatever they do would be just ludicrous to be able to fit in like this plus plus gandalf plus you know like just stupid um okay so now the exclusive on this piece is really cool actually so this is just, so this is all the regular. This is all the regular. And all the exclusive is, is this. You just get a very nice expensive ring. And that's what this is. It comes, the exclusive comes with a die cast ring. And it comes with a stand. Now that's a cool exclusive. Well done, Prime One. This, of course, is going to be the collector's ed or the regular right here. Pretty damn dope. This will be the exclusive. Next up. This is the only picture I have. It's the only tease. It's all I've got. Is going to, and this was just this past weekend, too. This, this is actually the most recent reveal 
out of anything. And I don't know if this will be one. I'd assume this will be one one third scale. This is the Wonder Room 1984 Golden Ormo statue. I'd assume it's going to be one third. I don't know. It might be half scale. It might be one fourth. I highly doubt it's one fourth, but I can count on both hands the number of one fourth. Well, no. Okay, I guess because of the Witcher and shit. So I guess they have a, a couple. But the whole new 52 line, but whatever. That's a whole nother topic. Which I have. Um, dope. Now, okay, guys. It's time. If you wanted to ask yourself, when is it time that the good shit starts? Here you go. This is going to now... Almost all of these for the rest of this chat will be ones that will... The new ones brought to us in the Prime One Studios store. We begin with this half-scale Dark Knight Batman statue. He is not up for pre-order yet. There is one more statue up for pre-order still in this chat. Don't worry. She is coming. But he's dope. Uh, this will be the uh, a swap out that he has that was actually revealed this past weekend. This I think was two week two two weekends ago, and now February twenty first was that. And now this, of course, is going to be the swap out for it. And oh yeah, this of course is going to be the uh, sonar eyes or whatever. Here's it going to be next to the Batman, or I'm sorry, to the Joker. You guys can see the one-third scale back there. I just think the detail and the likeness and the just the, oh, the detail they can get out of those one one half scale is just crazy. Um, again, I don't have details. I'd assume around two grand. I would assume around oh, I don't even want to add forty-five inches, maybe. I would assume, because I think he's like 42, and he's definitely bigger, so I would go 45. I could tell you if, if Sauron was next to him, because we all know he's whatever, but of course he's not here. Um, next up, Zatanna. Now, a fun fact about this Zatanna statue, guys, is holy shit, has it been a long time people have been waiting. They uh, did a, di I, I believe it was a, digital sculptor um, render of her people saw online going through the forums in 2016. She was revealed February 21st, 2020. Yeah. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. And here she is. That base is insane I actually wonder if that's going to be the deluxe base and she'll come with a different base with the regular I don't know they they did that with the Holy Quinn comic which actually no no uh, sorry there's another statue next to her. I thought that was the Holy Quinn just this thing's insane well it is Holy Quinn actually it's just a different version um, if she looks familiar, same version as the hot toy earlier. Even though it's a different actual game. One's Orkham City, one's Orkham Knight, but whatever. At least I think that's... But she is... Back to Hulk, guys. She is just fucking... Be she's just so fucking beautiful. I mean... I'm not a big fan... The bunny looks just weird. I'm not a fan of the bunny. And if... Like, of course, I'm not getting the statue. I already own a Z Z Zatanna statue that I'm perfectly happy with. Um, I, I'm only ever going to buy one one-third scale female. Uh, that's Grail. But, you know, I'm just not a big fan of the bunny. And hopefully they have a swap out for that. They should with how much this shit's going to cost. Um, now, it does say she's not currently up for pre-order. But on their website, it's, she's one of the statues on their coming soon little ribbon thing so i'd assume that she will be be up for pre-order in the next two months i would assume 
Uh, they the Prime One normally likes to do a lot of their bigger statue pre-orders uh, on Fridays, so look out for that. And they they they'll probably announce it like they'll come out with photos and then they'll put it up for pre-order. Um, oh, that's it for her. Okay, we're wrapping things up here, guys. Uh, next up. We have my last statue that is currently up for pre-order. Uh, this, of course, is going to be the Poison Ivy Batman Arkham City. Poison Ivy, to be exact. Uh, we will just go one over her things right here. Uh, the regular is what this is. Uh, 1099 The exclusive is going to be 1149 so basically 50 bucks more. Height, 32 inches, so or 80.5 centimeters. Arrival, May 2021 through August 2021. So about a year and year and a half, iffy, a little bit less than that. Now this statue has gotten some pretty decent criticism for this ankle right here. It just doesn't look right. It, she would, If someone would stand like that, it would twist their ankle. It's not. Her ankle should be here, not there. Um... I don't, I don't know if Prime One has actually reached out to anyone saying that they will fix that. I don't know. They probably will, and they should. But that's not up to me. I think I have the most photos of her than any other statue in this statue chat. Um, she is awesome. Like, she is just... There was, there was guy... The, the, the amount of comments when she was first revealed was just crazy i do have several negatives about this i will get into those towards the end um but she is just so cool and very very attractive um here's a look at the now this will be one of the this will be an exclusive head the, the smoke here so I, I, sh I shouldn't have had that there that was my bad that should have been towards the end uh but the as you guys can see here the Television can light up. It has an LED light up feature. Uh, here's another look of her as well. Here's a look at her back, Orkham City, along with her underwear. Uh, this will now be the uh, the so th so the regular edition comes with two portraits. This one and this one. Now, as you guys can see here, it's different. Eyes are more open. Eyes are more shut. Mouth open. Mouth shut. This will now be the exclusive. Open, shut, smoke. Now, this is my negative. This is my biggest negative about this piece. Is those head sculpts, guys, look too similar. For getting three... They look awful, awfully alike. I would have preferred, now this is me personally, another exclusive. Because 50 bucks for a head, in my mind, uh, maybe, yeah. I, I, I guess that's as part as much as they can push it. But I would not... I would not do that. I mean, that's... That I, you guys know what I mean. This will be the uh, swap about. This will be the regular edition right here, and this will be the exclusive. Three different heads here. Now, I I have to go back and 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 play Orkham City. I haven't played it in a while. But I actually don't know. Now, I would assume, because she looks like this, she wears this outfit in the game. This exact outfit. But to me, maybe I'm thinking of... I, I mean, I know I'm getting it somewhat confused with the Batman Arkham Asylum version. Because the Batman Arkham Asylum, Asylum version... Sorry, that sounded weird. That came out strange. Like, there was less heel. It was basically a one flower. And then she definitely wasn't wearing this. She was wearing, like, a different 
skimpy outfit, you know. But, I mean, I'm not saying I want any skimpy. Not at all. I'm just kind of confused about which. And I, I would imagine that she was wearing this. I don't remember seeing her much in in Orkham City. I know I know you ran into her, but she was one of the least used characters in that game. She had a she had a much bigger one in Batman Arkham Knight. Um but which there's a spoiler with her, so I won't spoil it. But I know there's a lot of people that were very excited about this about this statue. Chris, the Batman statue collector. He was super excited, and then it seems like his excitement kind of toned down a little. So, I mean, he's probably for sure going to get this. As, uh, But that ankle is annoying. So hopefully they do, they do fix that. Overall, though, I think she's awesome. She is quite attractive. You know, like she's very, she's quite attractive. Um, I'll leave it at that. Now I have, uh, I believe it's two photos. Yes, two photos of the, of her. God, just look at the size of that base. And then the three Gotham City. No, wait, no. Uh, is this? Yeah. They're, yeah, Gotham City Sirens. What? Sorry. My head was, I was losing it there. Another reason i'm not i mean i'm not gonna buy these but another reason is i have all these statues already just in different form okay i just thought of something here you know what you know what would be one of my dream hot toys oh i mean that would be dude if hot toys came out with one of these, which I'd assume they will if they do her. Because, I mean, Hot Toys isn't just doing her and Batgirl. That would be just odd. I'd assume that they're going to keep, you know, it might take them 10 years, but, oh, dude, all three of those, oh, my God. All for 250 bucks each. Forget about it, dude. I would be just, oh. Killer. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we get into the final reveal. This guy was revealed. I'll go back. This guy was revealed this past weekend on Friday. Um, Thursday night, I went to bed. Uh, I checked the time. I knew it was going to be revealed at 7 p.m. Tokyo time. I was not waiting up. It was, I think, midnight. It was like 4 p.m. There was something. It's 15 hours. I could do the math. I'm not going to. But I woke up and my Facebook feeds were going nuts. And that is solely because of this motherfucker. Damn! Prime one. This is the Batman Hush Batcave edition. There's a lot of people that are probably quite upset with Prime 1 right now. Let me explain. Prime 1 came out with their with their hush line, right? They revealed Batman first, and basically, I don't know if it was at the same time or right after they came out with the hush Superman. Most people most people's complaints about that Batman was he was crouched over. This guy ain't crouched over. He ain't crouched over, people. I have a feeling we're going to be getting a lot of those Batman Hush Crouch Dovers now up for sale because of this guy. Now, a lot of people said that these ribs, something was really wrong or something. I believe it's the lighting because in a couple other photos I will show you, they look a little weird, but they're not like that. So just patience because, yes, that looks really weird. Because, yeah, look, I mean, that just looks awful, but... This is staggering. And those that think it's familiar, look behind it. Behind it, they have the uh, comic page that it's literally just taken from. They literally just went, boop. 
You know, I mean, yes, it's different because Catwoman's in there and there's Elford and shit, but still. Like, that is... Wow, Prime One. You just got a lot of people's attention with this. And the bats. Too. It's just everything about it is so cool. Again, I'm definitely not going to buy it. But I think this is an incredible statue. And there you go. I actually have this comic book right on my shelf right now. Um, so good. Here's a here's a uh, Photoshop that someone did of it in their collection. He is massive. I don't know the size. He's not going to be as big as him, I don't think, because his body is going to be bigger, and of course he's flying. So those ribs do look a little strange still. Uh, Prime One did mention that they will be working on him. And they will, of course, not ship him like this. But these are going to be the best lighted photos. This is going to be the, I mean, just the light. Just look at that. Ugh. That's the last photo I have. So that's it for my photos, guys. Um, I'll leave it here. I'll leave it with him. But just so cool. Um, I mean, back circling back to that 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 Orkham Hot Toy collection, guys. That could be one of my favorite lines. I mean, sure, yeah. I don't think any anything's ever going to touch the new Fifty Two line for me because I own all of them. But I mean, that line could destroy my Justice League Hot Toy line which I have all of them that they've come out with. Don't get me so inside woke. Um, but, I mean, that could just be... If if they decide... If they go, you know what, guys? We'll give you Holy Quinn. Or, sorry, they did. We'll give you Poison Ivy. We'll give you Robin. We'll give... I mean, that would just be... Oh, my God. I know I, can, I, know I keep going on about that, but it's just so good. I mean, just, sorry, I got to go back. I'm sorry. I know, I know. I mean, just look at that. It's just so, so good. You know, and they, they don't even need to, you don't need a different portrait with that. She's slightly smoking. You know, just so good. So good. I'm so excited. I will be getting these. Like, I will be. I mean, there's, there's no other way to put it. I mean... I I'm gonna I'm gonna need to. What you know what would be funny? I wouldn't be surprised if one of their next hot toys is an Oracle. To be honest with you, they might just do that. I I I, I actually wouldn't be surprised. The way that Hot Toys does things, they will probably come out with an Oracle before they come out with a Two Face. Just the way that they go. And like. They have a completely different bottom of the head just to switch out the, uh, you know, like above and beyond. Now, you could say she doesn't come with quite enough gadgets. Sure, she comes with her three. I mean, here she comes with two batterings, the grapple, the grapple gun, and then that little thingy. You can say she doesn't come with enough, but I think she does. Um, and you know, I will actually, no, I, I actually wouldn't, I probably wouldn't sell a hot toy that has a nightmare. I probably will end up probably selling a statue or two. 
if I like not now because I mean, like if I did go in on the whole line, I I probably would for space space reasons and other reasons. I mean, I gotta sell a bunch of shit to make way for my other my statues that I still have coming, which. Right now, I don't have the money for. I don't have the space for. We're gonna. Well, I, technically, I, I technically I have the space, but the money. Remember, I said a couple ch chats ago that s space was the issue. Now, money's the issue. So, great, because I'm out of I'm out of my other job. So I'm that's for anyone interested in knowing. Uh, I work at a movie theater with the coronavirus right now. My doctors are telling me I can't go back to work there. Uh, not till this is settled down. So I'm here for probably at least a month. Um, I'm at my mom's. So my mom was so worried that I, I, I live with my sister. So that's where my whole collection is. Um, but I moved over here for a little while. I brought a lot of shit with me. The only thing I didn't bring was my microphone. So in case you're wondering why this, why my, I sound a little different. This is actually the first video I will come out with that has my, uh, uh, my built-in Mac microphone. The first time I'm using it, uh, I've used my microphone the whole time. My other microphone, but that was just a little bit too. Yes, I could have brought brought it fairly easily, but just why, you know? This I heard this microphone's pretty damn good. So it's a three thousand dollar Mac. So hopefully it is. Um, okay. Oh, look at that! You can hold it. I didn't even realize that you can just hold it down and it'll go. And it'll. We will end things off with this photo because I think this is the best statue of this whole shish kebab. Ah, uh, him or him or Zatanna, I guess. Um, but yes, I will be coming out with several v videos. Um, now, since I do not have my collection here, as many of you who are familiar with my channel no i i'm planning on doing several comparison videos some some uh countdown videos those kinds of things i can't do comparison videos while i'm here because my entire collection is at my is at my 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 house but i can do countdown videos because my countdown videos I don't really need my actual collection. Now, I can't do review videos. I can't do any of those. But I will actually most likely be doing the, the ones that, unfortunately, I wanted to save. My countdown videos of my favorite hot toys in order. My favorite statues in order. Um, those, those videos. Um... Now, the creme de la creme is the countdown of all my statues from however many I have to the bottom. I currently don't even have them rated. I have my hot toys rated. I don't even have those rated. But those are the kind of videos I will be doing when I'm at my mom's. Um, I don't... What am I... Jesus, I'm blanking here. Oh, I don't have, a, I don't have anything coming in in my collection for a while. Uh, the Thanos Endgame is probably for surely going to be my next one because all the other ones, my, my, the one that would have been was my Storefire PF delayed. They haven't delayed yet my Hawk Girl PF. They most likely will. Those are my final two PFs I have on order, premium format statues I have on order for anyone that doesn't know what a PF stands for. Um... But those are my final two of that. And then, of course, my Holy Grail, my badass motherfucker Lobo Deluxe. Still waiting. I still owe twenty twenty three hundred dollars on him. Uh, that's including the 350 shipping. So I don't even have that money. So that'll be interesting. Uh, but we're going to have to wait and see. This chat, guys, has gone on for a while. I wanted to keep it under an hour, and I will do that. So um, please like, share, subscribe. The, please do what I just said. Sorry. Um, and yeah, just ask me questions about my collection, guys. 
and I will tr I will attempt to do a statue chat once every two weeks. I'm pretty sure I will since I am quite bored here at my mother's. Um, fun fact: I actually ordered on Amazon yesterday or two days ago the entire Batman Returns or the Dark Knight Ret Batman the Dark Knight Returns comic series, as well as I will be rereading Hush, which I haven't read in probably ten years. So, yeah, speaking of Hush, there you go. I did that. I'm buying a couple movies. I will be fine. I do not know when I will be back at my sister's. I do not know when I'll be back at my job, if I will ever be back at my job, which would be very, very, very sad. But they're going to have, or whatever, I won't, I could go into a 45 minute thing about the fact that all movie theater has to shut down because, well, I'll tell you, they were like, yeah, we're going to be open, guys, and, and, and we'll be somewhat busy this weekend. We're not somewhat busy. But also, we'll be somewhat busy this weekend because there's new movies coming out. Next week, that stops. They need to close, but whatever. I won't, I won't get started. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this has been an MVP collectible statue chat on the 15th of March, 2020. With a shit ton of awesome photos, a lot cool, awesome reveals and shit like that. Um, Skull Vikings, guys. And until my next video.